Are you looking for the most OP and broken build in Destiny 2? Then this ain't the video for you. <laughs> What's up, you weirdos? Fever here. How's everyone doing today? Hope you enjoyed your Christmas, if you celebrate that. I started a series where we try to make and highlight builds from around the community based on weapons in the exotic kiosk. And in today's video, we're going to cover Tommy's matchbook, or Touch of Malice 2.0, whatever you want to call it. Man, that makes me miss Destiny 1. Anyways, Tommy's matchbook is a 720 RPM solar auto rifle. It comes with hammer forged rifling, extended mag, the trade is heat sink, which is overheat damage is reduced while not aiming down sights, so just hip fire it, hand laid stock, and the intrinsic trait is ignition trigger. Sustained fire with this weapon overheats it, increasing damage but burning the user. This gun will start burning you the longer you hold down the trigger. It won't kill you, but it'll strip your shields completely. Gotta be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of this weapon, but it's not because it's trash or anything like that. I'm just not a frequent user of auto rifles, but this series is about highlighting builds, not if I like a certain gun or not. This gun does synergize well with the right builds and can be fun, but that's the problem. On its own, the gun is okay at best, and that's about it. Anyways, enough of me rambling, let's get to the build already. Okay, so we're gonna go with a charged light build on this one, and since the matchbook likes to burn the user as well, we will be going into the healing route. The first mod we need is sustain charge. Become charged with light by rapidly defeating combatants with auto rifles, trace rifles, or machine guns. Now this part's important. Additional copies of this mod increase the time allowed between combatants that are defeated, which means if you have two of these equipped, it'll be a little easier to get charged with light. The second mod you need is protective light. While charged with light, you gain significant damage resistance against combatants when your shields are destroyed. This effect consumes all stacks of charge with light. The more stacks consumed, the longer the damage resistance lasts. After testing this, I found that it takes 4 stacks to hit the max amount of time you can have, and that's 16 seconds, but it's 16 seconds of you being an absolute tank. You don't need a third mod for this build to work, but if you want to hit the 4 stacks in the max amount of time allowed, you will need the supercharge mod as well. Supercharge lets you have 2 additional stacks of charge with light, up to a max of 5 stacks. So how this build works is by getting 4 stacks of charge with light from the sustain charge mod and letting this thing rip. When the burn damage kicks in, the matchbook will do bonus damage but at the cost of you losing shields. And that's where the protective light mod comes in. It'll consume the 4 stacks and give you a 50% reduction in damage for 16 seconds. Once the protective light consumes those stacks, you start earning stacks again from the auto rifle kills. Just rinse and repeat. You could also start adding in other charged light mods, but I kept running into an issue where they were consuming the stacks leaving me with only like one or two when I hit that critical health mark. There's even the Warmind Cell hybrid build option if using a 7th Seraph or Ikalos weapon with it. This build also pairs well with some exotic armor pieces, like Mask of the Quiet One or Actium War Rig for the Titan. The Mask of the Quiet One gives you ability energy back when hurt and when critical restores health on kills. The Actium War Rig reloads auto rifles and heavy machine guns automatically, which I found to be a blessing for this build because the reload is kinda meh. For the Warlock, I went with the Sanguine Alchemy, and I don't even know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> we'll just go with the Alchemy. The Alchemy pauses the Rift countdown while standing in it and getting kills. If you were to use Empowering Rift, you'll get a damage bonus on top of it. And for the Hunter, I went with Wormhush Crown, which I guess is as basic as you can get, but I did have this idea of using the Mechanist Trick Sleeves and pair the Tommy's Matchbook with a Sidearm. If you're critical, switching to the Sidearm buffs the damage. I do think this build shines more on a Hunter or Titan, but only because a Warlock can just say screw the mods and use Devour on the Void skill tree, which completely negates the need for all this. I mean, if you think about it, Warlocks are the medics of Destiny. When I used this on my Hunter, I couldn't believe how tanky it made me once I lost my shields. I felt like I summoned the magical power of Titan thighs or something. And with my Titan using Actium War Rig, it just felt good because I didn't need to reload so much. Anyways, let me know what you think of this build in the comments section, or if you have any ideas to add on to it. I will always try out suggestions. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe, but more importantly, just be a good person to one another, and have a fantastic day. Thank you! I felt like I summoned the magical power of Titan thighs or something. <laughs> Alright, I couldn't say that with a straight face. <laughs> When I used this on my hunter, I couldn't believe how tanky it made me once I lost my shields. 
I felt like I summoned the magical power of Titan thighs. And with my... 